I'm I team investigator Jackie Calloway. Six months after the I team exposed hundreds of complaints and a state investigation, problem movers continue to operate at will in Florida. After our investigation, federal regulators did shut down one of those companies, but complaints are piling up on others with no relief in sight for victims. Hello? Are you there? Oh, no. Mary Miller feels alone in her ongoing fight against a South Florida mover. How much money had you given them? Over $3,600. The estimate shows Mary paid that deposit to Gold Standard Moving and Storage. Christmas stuff. To ship everything she and her disabled husband own from Idaho to their new home in St. Pete. I had my whole house packed, ready to go. The estimate included a three-day window in November for the company to pick up all of the Miller's possessions. So the 18th came, no one. 19th came, no one. And the 20th, no one showed up. This retiree says it took two days to reach someone by phone at Gold Standard Moving and Storage. They told me that they weren't going to come. She told me the company canceled without warning. I was all by myself. I didn't know what to do. I just cried. On November 22nd, Gold Standard Moving and Storage offered Mary a refund. Nearly five months later, she's still waiting. Well, I'm still waiting for my refund. Do you know anything about it? The Millers didn't know regulators revoked the company's license last November, nearly a month after Mary paid them. The U.S. Department of Transportation made the move the week after I sent the agency this email. It asked about the hundreds of complaints filed against Gold Standard Moving and Storage with their agency, the Florida Attorney General, and the Better Business Bureau. We are doing a story on Gold Standard Moving and Storage based on the job number I gave you. The owner, Charles Abrams, who we connected to three other companies, has yet to return my calls and emails. And we found Gold Standard Moving and Storage is just one of 280 Florida-based movers with an F rating at the Better Business Bureau. It's like whack-a-mole all over the state. Hearing about our 2021 investigation prompted Senator Ed Hooper to meet with state regulators and A.G. Moody's office. He then crafted a bill aimed at cracking down on rogue movers that move people within the state. We're in debate. Is there a debate on the bill? But the measure died during the last legislative session. But so far they're, they're unabated and they don't, I don't think they fear any, any kickback or repercussions. Give us $8,500, which I did. Fariba Gahari and her husband, Ken Smith, want to know why more isn't being done to kick bad movers out of business. They get $8,500 from me. They didn't lift a finger. The couple paid a hefty deposit to Alliance Moving and Storage, another F-rated Florida mover, just before looking up the company's record. I'm canceling everything. So they said, okay. Just send us an email and we cancel everything. Fariba canceled in this email within 24 hours of putting down her deposit. The contract states due to any cancellation within 48 hours of placing a reservation, 20% of the deposit will be held. Then we've got a few boxes here. But... 15 months later, Fariba and her husband are still fighting for their money. They filed complaints with federal regulators, the attorney general's office, and won a judgment in small claims court. Do something about it. The attorney general's office confirmed they are actually investigating approximately 100 complaints against Alliance Moving and Storage, and we found 270 cases filed with federal regulators. Still, the company continues to do business in and out of Florida. $8,500 for anybody is a lot of money. Something else you should know, both companies in this story are brokers, meaning they hire someone else to do the moving. Federal regulators told us in writing that the names of both of these businesses give the appearance that people are dealing with an actual mover, not a middleman. We have the links to look up any mover. Just go to abcactionnews.com and click on iTeam. I'm Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.